Hey guys, Brian Goes Blue back here. Um, just uh, doing a little out and about video today. Going to uh, Barnes & Nobles for the last day of the Criterion sale. Um, got a few titles in mind that I might want to pick up, but uh, let's go and uh, check it out and see what we can find. Yeah, so definitely going to be picking up like a Mulholland Drive. Um, thinking uh, maybe a Chaplin movie. Check it out. I'm not really sure what else. Uh, Moonrise Kingdom, maybe. Uh, we'll see. But uh, haven't gotten a chance to do the sale yet this time around. Um, looking forward to uh, finally getting to the chance to do it on the last day. So sale ends tomorrow. So. Time to get some Criterions on. Pretty decent, uh, nice stack of Criterions here. I'm just gonna go over uh, in my car uh, because lights getting getting dim already outside. It's only like 5:30 p.m., but you know, you know how it is these days. First one I got was the uh, the Honeymoon Killers. I had heard heard good things about this movie, but I had just have never seen it. Um, most of these are blind buys, you know how it is. Um, but uh, this one was supposed to be directed by Martin Scorsese whenever it first, uh, whenever they first wrote the script for this. But uh, he backed out and it ended up being um, director Lin Leonard Castile's uh, only movie. So looking forward to checking this out. I read some um, a synopsis on Blu-ray.com and uh, said it was highly recommended. So as with all the other criterions, <laughs> they usually say they are highly recommended releases. So uh, Honeymoon Killers, start to check it out. Uh, next up, I got uh, The Brood. Uh, been looking forward to checking this one out again. I have it. I have the DVD of it, but it's just a crappy little MGM DVD. And uh, looking forward to checking out um, the new Criterion and all the uh, all these special features on it. Got quite a list on the back there. But uh, this is David Cronenberg's uh, movie from 1979, and it's really really disturbing. So if you like David Cronenberg, I'm pretty sure you'd probably like this movie too. Um, Really glad to see this got a Criterion release. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting just a normal Blu-ray from this movie, but uh, they gave it the royal treatment. And looking forward to checking it out again. The Brood. All right, guys. These next ones I got were uh, Charlie Chaplin films. I've been looking forward to checking out some of his work ever since uh, the whole Cinema Scumbags crew has been uh, talking him, talking him up really hardcore. Um, first one I got was Modern Times. I figured this this would be a good uh, one to start off with. Um, Heard nothing but great things about this. Looking forward to diving into some Chaplin, uh, Modern Times. And the next one after that I got was uh, Gold Rush. Um, heard really good things about this one also. I know it has two different versions and not to watch the one with the narration on it. Uh, so I'm gonna you know, stick with the original version uh, the way it's intended to be watched. Um, looking forward to checking out some Chaplin though. On a big Chaplin kick now, I'm sure I will be. And the last one I picked up was uh, Mulholland Drive. Yeah, everybody's been picking this up. I love this movie. It's such such a great movie. Um, the more the more times you visit it, the more the more type of shit that you see that you haven't you didn't see the previous time you saw it. And it's just one of those kind of weird weird movies that messes with your head. Um, the last like 30 minutes uh, really really threw, threw me for a loop the first time I watched it. But uh, looking forward to revisiting it. Love this uh, packaging here. And uh, love David Lynch. So any more David Lynch uh, Criterion uh, can put out, that'd be great. I'd love to see um, Wild at Heart. That's one of my favorites. It has um, uh, Nick Nicholas Cage in it and uh, Laura Dern. Really, really good movie there. Um, but Twilight Time put it out, and I missed the uh, the limited the three thousand copies uh, version of that. Anyways, Mulholland Drive. Uh, Naomi Watts is stunning in this. This is back in. Uh, you know, 2001, she was looking really, really hot back then. Um, but yeah, Mulholland Drive. 
and that that's it that's all that i picked up picked up a you know good old stack of like five criterions here not too bad not too shabby for this uh for the november sale of uh, criterions i also signed up for the uh barnes and noble membership so in the future that can be hooked up with better deals i had 30 percent off a coupon um for one of the titles today uh it was like an online black friday weekend type deal um so that knocked down my, my membership only ended up being like 10 bucks with after that after they took off 30 percent uh, from one of the one of the blu-rays here but uh i could not find moonrise kingdom in there and uh so i'm gonna have to order that one online tonight or something like that before the sale ends so i can make sure i get on that um so yeah i'm gonna go home order that one and uh you know, I just wanted to make a quick out and about video. I haven't made one of these yet. And uh, so, glad, thank you for watching. You know, uh, like, comment, uh, share, subscribe, all that, all that jazz. And uh, peace out. Brian Goes Blue. See you later.